Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to the blog and to the beautiful Arturo Supercar Garage here in my house. First, let me take a selfie. Now, first, let's just, of course, this is not for this car. This is for this car. And yes, we're back on the game. I ordered this car last year when I sold my first C8, my 2020 C8. And I ordered this one right here. I ordered the car with a couple of things I was missing. Uh, the rear mirror camera. I was missing the um, uh, GT2 bucket seats. I was missing a couple of things. I didn't order the wheels. I ordered with the original wheels, but... You guys know me. I changed them right away for this beautiful wheels. 20 in the front, 21 in the back. I did ceramic tinting. I did carbon fiber covers, carbon fiber front lip. And you guys already saw me installing that in the 2020. That's why I didn't record that part but today we're gonna install this beautiful thing right here yes it's a carbon fiber high wind for the c8 already had the previous one without the wind and i'm super super ready for this one to have the wind so let's just install this baby up let me just move this car move this car put this one in and put the jacks up so enjoy the video we will start with the process here we'll remove the front bumper out drill the holes boom 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 install the wind and put it back up and it is day two and it is day two not because it's a lot of work it's because my wife had some plans for yesterday. So I kind of like had to live this like half. So far, I have the template in the car and it is time to drill. It's the moment of truth and it's time to open the holes in the car. And we're gonna do it. All we do is All we have to do right now is just mark it because we need to take the bumper down so we don't drill into parts, of course. We don't wanna... Well, now that we open the holes officially or we mark the holes officially, we're gonna start taking these screws out of here, get the wheels out and I can have access to this area right here. And of course, take the, all the screws in the bottom of the bumper same in the other side and this should come out completely and we start the installation of the high wind let's just do it okay so i already removed all the screws in that part and now i'm coming to this one so we have one here one number 10 another one here we have this T15s and a couple more here. Then we'll uh, move this part over and take the screws here out and we should be good. So I finally removed the bumper from the car and now I finish open the holes here with the driller and let's just remove this thing. Let me just prep the spoiler and make it happen. I'm super excited. Okay, so 
got the bumper out. Um, it was fairly easy to do. So I first what I did is I fit the screws in, you know, before I you tight them in all the way. You test all of them that they fit on the holes and then you um screw them all the way in the in the position they're gonna you know the, they're gonna be at. I actually put some 3M glue or 3M 3M double tape here so now i'm gonna just peel it out uh i didn't want to peel it out before because those things are pretty hard once they you know touch the surface the they're gonna stick in it's pretty hard to get them off uh i mean to to stick it out and and do all that so that's why i decided to kind of like leave it there i have this tool right here it's gonna be super simple super super easy to kind of like peel them out like this you're gonna you know grab just the red part of it there you go something like that peel it out peel it out just like this and now it's gonna stick in place i'm gonna do the same with all the rest tie them in put the bumper in and it is officially done the carbon fiber high wind it's installed in the car man it looks so good so 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 freaking good it was a nice project. I love to do stuff like this. Of course, it's a mess. I will clean it up and finish the wall because I'm finishing the the, the garage like y'all saw in the previous video. But yes, this is awesome. I have been doing a couple of things for a couple of friends like installing radios and installing, you know, just for fun because I it's not what I do for a living, but should I do it for a living? I mean, I love it though. I should. And the wheels. Oh my God, the wheels. I'm loving the process of owning this little beautiful thing. And of course that beautiful little thing outside too. So I hope you guys like it. Let's just cut to the nice shots and I will see you guys in the next time. What? Thank you.